Hey guys, it's Tank Oscar Mike. Uh, I thought I'd go over the final version of my Go Kit uh, that I'm going to be taking on the little road trip we're taking. Now, the small screen that I ordered has not come in, um, so I'm probably going to take this and throw it in the truck, but I'm probably gonna, just going to use the Raspberry Pi headless. Um, I don't want to lug that screen around and the, the new screen so much smaller. Um, so I'm probably just going to use the Raspberry Pi headless uh, with my phone uh, unless the screen comes in last minute. You can see I have my travel mast and my trailer hitch adapter in the truck there. Um, but uh, yeah, I couldn't believe it that I got everything into the case and uh, um, it's everything's in there tight. But man, I have everything in here. So let's go ahead and open it up. This is an Apache 3800 case from Harbor Freight. Um, first and foremost, this is my 20 watt power film solar panel that I won. Uh, it fits right on top, uh, so makes it nice and easy. Of course, the KX2, that is the only thing that is there. My three amp hour battery, BioNO battery. This is the power cord to go from the battery to the KX2. This is my Raspberry Pi 4. Um, I think this is the 8 gig model. I think I bought the 8 gig model. My CW key and uh, the cable for my CW key. Uh, this contains all the connectors and adapters I need um, for the Raspberry Pi, hooking it up to the radio. Uh, power adapters, USB charger, um, USB power for the Raspberry Pi, all that stuff's right in there. Uh, my mini keyboard, I have this set up with Bluetooth now, so as soon as the Raspberry Pi is powered on, I can just connect the keyboard. Um, one thing that I had forgot before that I added to this was the charging cable for this, since it is different than a Raspberry Pi, so I, I, I have that now. Um, my coax, uh, this is my coax that I usually norm usually take when I'm backpacking, so I'm going to continue to do that. Although I do have other coax in my... Uh, my road crates here inside the truck, my ammo crates there. Um, microphone and headset, and a lot of this is just thrown in there. Um, it's nice to have this big open area that I can just throw a bunch of stuff in that I really don't have to worry about. Um, these are the cables for the solar panel. This is the little charger for the solar panel, little charge controller. Um, I threw in some connectors. I have a, a BNC to BNC uh, barrel connector. Um, and then each one of the uh, the other B and C adapters that I might need um, for some of the other coax I have. So I just screw them all together so they don't get lost anyway. And my NFED antenna. So it all fits in there. Um, this even has some cordage on it. So if I didn't have my mast, I should be able to string this up um, in an NVIS, you know, get it up uh, a few feet off the ground and um, have it ready to go. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how all this packs in here. Um, the only thing, the only stuff that really is in here is um, my notebook that I carry with pen and paper and stuff that I, I carry that anyhow. And I do plan on taking a little backpack with me. Um, I'm actually probably going to take my big pack, big backpack as well and just throw it up here in the trucks, but it's going to be empty. That way, if we get somewhere and I need to carry a few other items, I can stuff it in that backpack and go. If we go for a short hike or something like that, I can uh, throw some stuff in that backpack as well. So I'm going to have another little backpack with me. But that's it. And as you can see, it's not hard to put everything back in here. Uh, I really don't have to organize stuff that well to get it all back in here, to fit back in here. It just all kind of fits. I thought about making another little spot for this keyboard somewhere, um, but I really don't have a lot of other places, and it actually might fit better standing up like this. I just realized that. So that actually might save a little bit of room there as well. Yeah, so that should be good. This goes right up here on top. And then this, the solar panel has the uh, hard, the adapter in there. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure I fold that over and put it down this end um, so it has room and that's it. Everything's in there and it closes again. So it's all set, but yeah, I think this will work good. Uh, I do have this closed, this Ville valve closed. Uh, so um, with it being in the back of the truck, I shouldn't have to worry. I have my 
Diamondback cover on the truck and the tailgate locks, of course. Um, so I'm not worried about it being back in the truck and getting dirty or anything like that. And it will be nice to be able to just pick this up and take it into the hotel room because I don't like to leave anything valuable in my truck uh, when I'm at a hotel. Uh, I, I just hate to do that. So everything goes in the, in the hotel with me. So other than my, uh, my bag that I'll take for clothes, uh, I'll be able to carry this into the hotel. Uh, I'll be curious. Uh, uh, I looked at Google Maps and uh, where the hotel is. Uh, there's a big parking lot. Uh, I might be able to set up my antenna in the parking lot at night if I just want to check into a net or something like that. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I have everything I need. Now, as far as the other stuff in my truck, I do have some tools. I have an air compressor, um, toe strap, uh, recovery strap, that kind of stuff. Um, a, a tarp, you know, other stuff that I might need on the trip. And plus there's there's more stuff stashed up in the cab, like my first aid kit and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I really wish that little screen would have come in. Um, there's just no easy way. I think I've mentioned it. There's no easy place to put this screen. It's got these big funky legs. Um, I mean, I could take these off and it would lay a little bit flatter, um, but then you'd, you wouldn't be able to stand it up anyway. So uh, I am looking forward to getting that little screen. I just don't think it's going to be here in time. Hey, thanks for watching. This is Tango Oscar Mike, 73. Take Tango care. Oscar Mike. Well, if you stayed till the end of the video, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of something I'm working on. Um, this is a mini thermal printer from Adafruit. And I just got this in today. I've only done a little bit of testing so far. Um, this one runs on five to nine volts. It makes a connection via serial to the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi too. If you think about a end of the world situation, there probably won't be a lot of ink around or toner for laser printers, but I bet you there'll be a lot of leftover receipt paper laying around that you could get your hands on. So it's just a thought. Um, but yeah, we'll try this out and see how, how good it is at printing information, how much you can fit on here and what it will look like. But yeah, that's the next project. Thanks for sticking around for this little bonus footage. <laughs> this is Tango Oscar Mike, 73. Take care.